Oh, hey guys. Um, sorry, I've been uh, super busy lately, but between weddings, enjoying the sun, and not making videos very much, but we'll get back to that. Today I want to show you guys actually a cool thing I picked up. It's called the Zion Crane 2. It's a gimbal, and it's different than my Steadicam that I have currently and that I'm used to. It's more mechanical, but uh, yeah, so we're going to do some fishing, flyboarding, and I'm going to also show you guys the crane that I picked up and my opinion on it compared to my steady cam that I have, the mechanical one. Let's uh, pick you guys up. Yeah. All right. I guess this is going to be more of kind of like a uh, vlog style video with some B-roll and stuff. I normally don't do that, but I don't know. Just give it a try. See how it turns out. Yeah. Get her stuff ready to go fishing, flyboarding, and I'll catch you guys out there. Whoop. Okay. Here we are. Gonna have the slider for when we're done fishing. We are going fishing. Feet are cold as coffee all over me. It's back here for right now. Yes, must have. Ready to catch some fishies, dude. Tired. Oh! Up before my alarm for some stupid reason. Yeah, that's uh, insane. I wanted to keep sleeping. I can't. I just wake up. I want to go fishing all the time on weekends. So I wake up 5:15. My dumb ass can't go back to sleep. I feel guilty. My brakes on my truck are like. They're so noisy. <laughs> I'm so bad. Everybody's sleeping. Just like trying to get away from it. Yeah, I, same thing. I I was wondering if they took the keys out of the jet skis. I was gonna say, I think they would steal the jet skis before they stole my fishing if, stuff at least. If the keys are in there, I don't <laughs> think the keys are in there. <laughs> Alright. Everything's probably wet. Wet, baby, wet. Yeah, a cart problem. There was one right here I was going to show you, but it's just not there anymore. Okay, so we just got to get... I'm going to put this in the truck. I don't feel very good. Got my coffee. Here we go. Why? Because we don't have any worms. Where are all the worms? They're on shore. Can we go get them? Mike, 10 minutes ago you fucking hated fishing. Now all of a sudden you love it. Yeah. Once you hook in, you're uh... I told her. Oh, I forgot to grab my GoPro out of your truck. I might have to go grab that real quick. Yeah. If I can get the idle figured out on this thing, it'll be really, really nice. Oh, I didn't get Oh, shit. All right, we're moving because uh, it wasn't that great over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Except I caught one. Brian trying to hook my anus. Caught one right over uh, by those docks over there. Murders and we're on the road. <laughs> New spot. Too bad of a day. Caught two fish and two smallmouth. 
Uh, one was a 2.5 pounder. Yep. 2.5. 2.3. Yep. And the other one was a 2.4 something. Or two or whatever. And a bunch of large mouth last night. A bunch of large mouth last night. And uh, yeah. So now it's time to go flyboard. Let's do it. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. because it's really good lighting and I enjoy it. You got the sunset over there. That's kind of blown out for you guys, but yeah, it's good. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over talking about this gimbal that I got here. We have the Zion, Z Zion Crane 2, however you wanna say it. And I also have Steadicam that I have. It's a kind of like a knockoff version of the glide cam, and this is what I've used forever. The mechanical steady cams are hands down probably my favorite. And then this guy, it's pretty badass. What I really like about this is it's just effortless, but the only thing I don't like is the fact that if you were to run out of batteries during a shoot or if you're doing like weddings and stuff and that's what i've used that for is for weddings and if you run out of batteries during the wedding well obviously you don't want that to happen so i usually resort to the mechanical steady cam that's what i do um, just because i don't have to worry about batteries anything i just have to worry about my camera and the fact that it's on and recording battery life is actually extremely impressive it lasted the entire day on the charge that came in the box. So I didn't have to recharge it. I kind of, I had extra ones just in case something happened, but I just wanted to see how long the batteries would last. It took top notch in like my arsenal of what I would use for things. Obviously I would use the mechanical one for certain scenarios, like more sportsy stuff or cars or whatever it may be. But I would also use that other one for cars too, just because you get those nice smooth moments or movements. And you can also get like parallaxes and stuff with it too, if you're really good with controlling 
the direction of how it turns and everything. But I'm not gonna talk about it too long. Let's get into it. I'll show you some footage from this gimbal and then I'll also show you some footage from the Steadicam. The lighting might not be the greatest because the sun's going down right now. I should have shot a little bit earlier. But um, yeah, let's do it. All right, so I ended up just saving to do the footage thing, review with the Steadicams and the gimbal for today since it was too dark last night. Also to note, this is probably not the best time of day to be doing this just because it's like high noon and the sun's right over top and uh, yeah, so things might be a little overexposed, but we'll see how it goes. feet with this. When you get wind resistance, it's a little bit harder. All right, just some quick comparison videos. I know they're not the best. I'll do a detailed one when I get home. <clears throat> Seems like I'm just kind of throwing this one together just to kind of give you guys an idea. But when you have like wind resistance with the Steadicam, it seems to handle a little bit harder. So just depending on the scenario is kind of when you would choose those two uh, gimbals. Like if you're riding in a car and shooting out of a car, a gimbal would probably be a lot better because it's mechanical and it'll keep that, it keep it steady a lot easier. And like if you're shooting a, a steady cam out of a car window or in the bed of a truck, it'll be, it'll be a lot harder just because of that wind resistance. So just depending on the scenario. So if you're looking for something that's like all around, I would recommend doing the gimbal for sure. Just because it works really well, especially in any scenario, it'll still work. I really like my Steadicam because it looks a little bit more natural movements compared to a gimbal where it's more mechanical and it looks like a robot. Other than that, still a great thing to have in the toolbox for sure. Oh, also, that Steadicam comes with a cool case. It's very convenient and nice to have. But uh, I'm getting out of here. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Hope you guys enjoy the weekend. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out.